Hey guys, over 50, if you are looking for a workout to help strengthen your knees, to prevent pain in your knees, and also make your knees feel better on a day-to-day basis, both in life and in your other workouts, give this quick 10-minute workout a shot. You should feel better in your knees right afterwards. There's no equipment required, no yoga experience, no flexibility. Just do your best and follow along. We're going to get started on your back on the ground. So the first exercise is a bridge, or a single leg bridge specifically. So you're going to plant your feet in front of your butt, make sure that your toes are facing straight forward, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, and then lift your hips off the ground, making sure that you're using your hips to do that. So specifically working on your glutes and your hamstrings here. And you want to drive your hips up high without using your back. A lot of yoga will tell you to use your back to lift up here. I want you to use your hips as we're focusing on strengthening your knees. And in order to do that, we need to build strength and mobility in your hips as well as in your ankles. So this is focused on the hip portion. And then to start isolating each hip, I want you to just hover one foot off the ground for a couple seconds and then switch sides. And you can use your hands on the ground to help stabilize yourself as you do this but you're just switching from one side to the other. And this is going to help you engage both glutes. A lot of people have imbalances. Most people have imbalances in their lower body that causes them to use one side more than the other. That might be why you have pain in one knee and not the other. So this is going to help correct that imbalance, make sure that you're using both hips evenly. All right. 10 more seconds of this, just slowly shifting from one leg to the other, making sure you're really squeezing your glutes, squeezing your thighs, keeping your abs tight to prevent pain in your back, and then slowly release down. From here, I want you to flip over onto your chest, and we're going to do a plank. You can plant in your hands, with your hands down, tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your belly button off the ground, shoulders over your hands. Make sure you're not hiking your hips up in the air. We want a relatively straight line from your heels to your hands. And then from here, I want you to lift your right leg off the ground just a couple inches. And if you need to, you can bring that left leg down. That's fine. The point of this is to isolate your left thigh and just get that leg to work. This is also a really good core exercise. And you do want to strengthen your core as well to help prevent pain in the knees. When you have a weak core, you tend to have bad posture, and that can put more strain in the knees. So strengthening your core is part of this as well. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Plant your right foot, lift your left leg up. Keep your belly button lifted. Breathe in and out of your nose. That's going to help you maintain control over your body. You'll be able to hold this pose for longer with less strain and build more strength. One more breath here. And then go ahead and release that left foot. Release your knees down. Good work. All right, so we're a little more warmed up. From here, we're going to move into a low lunge. If your knees hurt on the ground, resting on the ground, you can slide a pillow or a cushion or maybe a knee pad underneath your knees here. We're going to start with your right leg forward, knee over the ankle and the front foot. And to focus on the hips here, you're going to keep your shoulders back somewhat. Make sure you're not leaning forward here, putting the weight in the knees. We're going to lean the shoulders back, focus on strengthening the hips. Push down through your front foot. Back toes are tucked. Squeeze both thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your thighs. Pretend like you're going to stand up in this position. That's going to help you get those muscles to turn on. If you're feeling good here, you can lift your arms overhead. And continue to breathe in and out of your nose. So this is working strength in your hips. It's also working on mobility in your hips. You should feel stretching through the front of your left hip. If you don't, you can crawl that right foot up a little bit more and hinge your hips forward a little bit more. Try to relax your shoulders. So we're going kind of aiming for a combination of relaxation, but also focus. So you want to be calm, but you also want to feel those muscles working. And the breathing is going to help with that. 
as well as checking in with your body and making sure that those muscles are turned on. One more breath here. And then go ahead and release. Hey guys, we'll get back to the workout in just a second. If you are looking for a structured program to help with strengthening your knees, I've got a seven day beginner's yoga for men challenge. It's free, there's no credit card required. When the workout is done, just click the first link in the description here to sign up and you'll get seven days, 15 minute workouts and your knees will be feeling better by the end of the week. Check it out and uh, finish your workout strong. We're gonna switch sides. So step your left foot up, right leg is back, tuck your back toes. Make sure that your back leg stays active here. Don't just dump that weight into your right leg. Push down through your left foot. It helps to kind of hover that right foot off the ground. Not Even if you can't do it for an extended period of time, just doing that to feel what getting those muscles to turn on feels like is a really good idea. And if it, you still have pain in that knee, you can slide a pillow underneath your right knee here. Bring your arms up. Make sure that your shoulders stay stacked above your hips and you're squeezing your hip muscles here, building strength there, reducing strain on the knees. A lot of knee pain occurs because we have active or overactive quadriceps, but underactive hips. So we're trying to correct that imbalance, shift the load to your hips and that's gonna reduce strain on the knees. Take a couple more breaths here. As you exhale, you can go deeper into it. Just make sure that your spine stays neutral. So you're not letting your butt poke out behind you and arching your back. You're squeezing your glutes, staying strong through your core and your hips. All right, go ahead and release. We're gonna stand up. From here, we're gonna stretch your ankles. And this is a really important part of strengthening your knees. If we can reduce strain, if we can build mobility in the areas that connect to the knees, we're gonna reduce strain on the knees. So you're gonna start with your legs wide, turn your toes slightly in, assuming you're new to this, or you know, maybe you're just less flexible. You're gonna bend your knees, hinge at your hips, bring your chest toward the floor, and you can rest your hands on your thighs to help keep your back flat. I don't want you stretching down to the floor and rounding your back, so keep your hands on your thighs so we stay strong. Push into the outer edges of your feet. You should be able to see a bit of a shadow between the arch of your foot and the ground. And as you're pushing into the outer edges of your feet, hug your thighs toward one another. So it's hard to do but hug your thighs toward one another, and that's going to engage your inner thighs. Strengthen those big muscles, your adductors, that's gonna help support your knees as well. As you hold this, you might notice that you can go deeper into it. Just make sure that there's no straining in your back. A lot of guys in their 50s have back pain because they might have injuries in their back that they just don't know about. So be careful with your back. Use your core to help protect your spine. We got just one more breath here. So we did about 60 seconds there. All right, and then very slowly come back up, bring your legs back together, and hopefully feeling a little bit more mobile through your legs now. We're gonna go into a chair pose from here. So I want you to bring your toes together, heels an inch apart. If it's more comfortable, you can bring your feet about six inches apart. Bend your knees, allow your knees to come forward. Keep your heels on the ground. Bring your butt down and back. Bring your arms out in front of you to start. So notice that I've got my, my butt going down and back. My knees are coming forward slightly, but I'm not leaning forward and letting my heels come off the ground. So most of my weight is in my hips here. My back is flat, core is engaged. You don't want your butt tucking under your body. Think about bringing your butt out behind you. Squeezing your glutes, squeezing your thighs. Arms are out in front of you to kind of help balance here. If this is easy and you want a little bit more, frame your head with your biceps. And sit down lower. You've got 10 more seconds here. Make sure there's no pain in the knees. If there is, just come up a little bit higher. And again, focus on your core, focus on your hips working. Try to keep your neck relaxed. You got one more breath here. Put the weight in the hips, squeeze your core, squeeze your hips. And stand up. Okay guys, if you enjoyed that workout, be sure to subscribe. I've got another 
yoga workout for guys 50 plus coming out next week. New videos are released every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Central. So be sure to subscribe and you don't miss out. Be sure to like this video if you found it helpful and leave a comment if you have some feedback or a question. If you guys are looking for another workout right now, I put out a great yoga workout for guys 50 plus for strengthening your back last week. So click over here to check that out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on another video soon.